Uh, by the way, hello to everyone who's just joined the YouTube stream. Um, not much going on at the minute because I've just got to wait for someone to show up in the Discord chat. And then we can have the episode. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, I may as well uh, unmute, I guess. <clears throat> he hello, everyone, by the way. Um, I haven't started the episode just yet because no one's um, hopped in the uh, Discord chat. But uh, when they do, I'll get down to it. <laughs> Oh, uh, Marcus, hey.
Ähm. Oh. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it is interesting. It's um CK three. Just got to wait a few more minutes just so people can jump in if they want. Okay, at least I know that two people are definitely watching, which is good. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's great. Cheers. <laughs> right, give me about three minutes, I'll start. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I'm Akka and we're back here in CK3, um, just, uh, well, a Christmas and New Year after the last episode, which, uh, by the way, Happy Christmas and Happy New Year, um, yes, but anyway, we are in the, uh, ex additional, um, time periods mod, yes, well, anyway, this is one, and we're playing as... Kagan Mohammed II of the Ilkhanate, uh, the last of the Hulagid dynasty. Um, now, this is a very sort of special um, kingdom that we have here. Well, empire, really. Because the Ilkhanate is at currently a clan tier empire, but it is also non de jure. So we're right here in the middle of the Iranian empire that is de jure. But we do have a way to make it um, uh, de jure. Uh, which is basically by forming kingdoms and then adding them to our digital lands. Uh, just excuse me one minute. <coughs> excuse me. Pardon me. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, but anyway, um, yes. Uh, so we are basically, in real terms, a count. And we are also um, imami, which is quite a minor religion around here. Most of um, Iran is Ashari. Or different sort of Christian kingdoms, light of the north. But anyway, um, yes. Uh, and we are also one of the last, um, well, one of the last, one of the minor Mongol regions, uh, rather, rulers of the region of Iran. Um, so that will be very interesting as a start, I think. So without further ado, I think we might start fabricating a claim to just uh, claw out our tendrons a bit. Um, this our uh, uh, player heir is um hmm, I wonder how she's related to us, but she is somehow. But anyway, she wants a husband, so 
I, I think I could marry her to my tax collector here. That's lovely. Good. And then is the, th the thing is um, also getting an alliance for ourselves, which is um, thankfully one of the daughters of the Ottoman Baelic over here is unmarried. So look at that troop number. It's nothing to be sniffed at. So I'll accept his proposal of marriage. Excellent. Right then, hopefully now we should be able to um, start using the Ottomans basically as our big stick <laughs> around Persia. So that's uh, good for us. Let's just have a peek in the royal court here. Oh, we can put up our house banner. Lovely. Uh, let me see, can we do, no. no, we can't do anything with the court because we're still a child. Hmm, right, now, um, I think we should probably, for a start, go after some counties here. Because we can declare a du jour war for this county, the Valaya of Ardabil. So we will. Lovely. And let's hopefully bring in the Ottomans or Han Bay. Yes, come to my war, please, Sultan. Just sort of hide my troops over here behind Tiberius. <laughs> come on, let him come over. Um, no, don't go after the Byzantines. <laughs> this could potentially go, like, horribly wrong for me. This was quite... Like, I've played through this before. And, um, yeah, the battles were quite... Well, the wars were quite something. That's the only thing. Um, oh. This neighbouring ruler wants a kitten? Sure. Get him up in our good graces. We could we could just um, hire some mercenaries with our lots of money here. Oh no! Ah, the Ottoman troops are coming at last. Wonderful. Um, anyone can we recruit? No, okay, right. I think that should probably be enough to see to the uh, Emir's men. Oh, court! My guardian, Sultan Hassan. Oh, he's my guardian. I see. Has caught me stealing from Taishi Moroka's travel chest while he was visiting the castle. Threatening pun punishment. Hassan has demanded an explanation. Okay, so we can... I don't think I want... Uh, deceitful. No. We'll, we'll be humble. That'll be fine. Sure. Ooh. Yes. Go the Ottomans. <laughs> They've knocked our enemies right out of the park. Okay. Bonding attraction. Yeah. Girls are fascinating. Whatever. I mean, IRL, I'm gay, so, um, you know, whatever. Fascinating. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that siege looks like it's doing well. Yay, we've won the Siege of Ardabil. Wonderful. Force of Mons. Okay. Uh, should probably look out for, well, hire some more, rather, men-at-arms. And, ooh, we can get horse archers. This is very good. Because we're Mongol. These are quite unique troops for us to have. So, yeah. Um, terrain effects. In step, in plains, in drylands. Uh, sure. We'll go with, we'll go with them. Got, we're Mongol. We got to have, um, step archers frighten people with. <laughs> Ooh. My court grandeur is below the expectations. Right. Cool. This uh, small peasant leader. Um, I am judged harshly for my hospitality towards Daya the criminal who is avoided by almost everyone on account of their wicked faith. Hmm. Um, you know what? I shall probably tell her, tell her, to, re tell her to repent. Yes. My places are Pious Muslim. Um, there we go. Should surely be strengthened by that. Can we... No. Nah, we, we don't have enough money to upgrade our court. Not with all the extra protection of the men-at-arms. Hmm. Could possibly invade this county, yeah. Possibly on our own as well. Hopefully without any help from the Ottomans. Um, uh, uh, 
Not a lot of us are good at some um, fighting, unfortunately. Decac, uh, Grandamala, Vector. Right, so if this goes wrong, then we'll have to call in the Ossons. No, I don't want a county claim, thank you. Yes, come on, please win. Hooray! Oh, we'll probably have to call in the Ottomans for the siege then. Because that is uh, quite worrying. It's above our level. Hurrah, lovely. Join in. Have you all had a good Christmas, New Year? Um, hope that's a yes. <laughs> Pardon me. Yes, come on, Ottomans. Come on. Oh, uh, a creeping suspicion. There is something odd about my guest, Dukak, but I cannot quite put my finger on it. Perhaps it is just my imagination running amok. Nevertheless, the ominous, ominous feeling is just keeping me up at night. Um, I, I'm being paranoid, you know. There's nothing wrong. Nothing in the middle of a war. <laughs> Surely that will go well. <laughs> Hopefully next we will be able to invade Gillen there. And that probably gets us on the way to forming a few duchies. There we go. We've won the war for the Vilaya of Talish. Lovely. Um, I I did kind of try and set this in, well, obviously there's no in Iranian intermezzo anymore, but, um, obviously this, the struggle has gone, but kind of not, because obviously we used to rule all of this land as a Genghisid uh, Khanate, now we're just sort of reduced down to this little stump of what we were. So that'll be interesting, if we can try and reunite Persia. Um, right now, though, we have to worry about our troop numbers. <laughs> and the fact that we're still 12, of course. Yeah, it's still a little worry, and we're in charge of an empire. <laughs> uh, nope. Don't want a Sogan County claim. Arr. Dear. The Wifingian Emperors would have bought this um, prospect. Oh. Architected ancestry. Oh, good. Someone else is in charge of the. Um... Oh yeah, because we're of the um, Borjigin dynasty, I think. Yes, see. So actually, um, the head of that is Karan Toran Temur, which is way over here. Yeah, so <laughs> that'll be interesting. <clears throat> There's no sort of like declare a new dynasty mechanic as of yet in CK3. But I hope they will be in future. Just get our troop numbers up again and hopefully now, probably see up. Oh, we're sort of halfway through conquering this title. And the troop needed us facing like threats on almost every side. So I could maybe maybe invade. Yes, let's go after the Sheikdom of Maraga. Just while we're here. Just to give this army time to sort of walk away. <laughs> Yay! Leave and leave Maraga to me. <laughs> oh. And we've got under the uh, siege requirement again. <laughs> Lovely. Oh dear. We're gonna have a tough time with this, aren't we? Yep, yep, we are. Oh well. At least the Ottomans are coming. Caught the inspiration. 
Uh, one of my household bagateurs uh, I was incredibly impressed by, and I'm no less impressed now. I will remember his words for the rest of my life. Hmm. Uh, greatness comes in time. Be there to grasp it when it does. Okay, sure. Should I really th be thinking of the words of my knights in the middle of the war? Probably not. <laughs> Come on, Ottomans, help me! Help the Khan! Um, yes, they're slowly, slowly making their way there. No, I don't want a county claim, thank you. Go down here. Ah, oh, good. They've scared off the um, Chupinid Emirates army. Oh, they're beating the Chupinid um, Emirates armies. So that's good. Oh, they've captured Emir Hassan. Wonderful. It's like the um, wrestling meme where it's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's terrifically good. Wonderful. Right, so we should probably start giving out some titles. Um, he likes us a lot. My Chancellor does. Right then. Time for you to have some counties. Uh, Lord Mayor Begunatai of uh, Ardabil. Wonderful. Right, so can we exert the Chupinid Emirate? Nope. Can't. Especially not from someone from a hostile faith. Brilliant. Um, we could see though. If any of our guests has any claims. No, no, they don't. Okay, all right. Oh, hey, Green. Nice to have you here. Uh, you join us as uh, Kagan Mohammed here, who's about to come of, of age. Hopefully. At the minute we're uh, like an emperor without a throne. Ah, first faction. Lovely. Peasant rabble. Good, okay. Be ready for them, hopefully. And I think... I think we've got enough money to just increase our men at arms for another time. But we'll hopefully be able to gain a claim on uh, the uh, Kasunid Shardom here before that. Hopefully, I don't know. Any situations? Nope. The wise fool. My name is Dair, my lord. I come before you to offer my wisdom. Hmm. Wisdom do you have? Uh. Um. Let him likewise amuse the masses, because he's. I don't think he's got any wisdom. His stats are pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Amusing. Let him likewise amuse the masses, indeed. Um, you had a good Christmas screen? Ah. Oh. Nice profile picture, James. Um, brilliant. Lovely. Getting good presents. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, God. Someone's burped in my court. Uh, and it's my Grand Amala, no less. Victor. Um. Ooh. Uh, I think we'll choose Begtir as a man of Allah. Let us treat him as such. I know it'll lower my court grandeur, but still. We can't risk um, any strife with our vassals. Oh, nice. we got a nice set. I got uh, some beer. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Pasta with sausage. But anyway, I got some uh, beer and also um, a blender and some nice um, sauvage uh, little... Um, Perfume stuff. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's been a good Christmas for me. Yeah, like, I also, strangely enough, from work, I got like this little statuette of some uh, wolf heads as a secret Santa. So I've just been sort of pretending I'm Johnny Depp with like a guitar. <laughs> um, right, come on. Can we have a Dutch claim? No, no, we can't. Not just yet. Um,. Ooh, I might get some bombards. Hopefully that'll make it so we can siege faces more effectively. That's another, like, 
Right, so we're starting it. We started at the year 1337. So we've got much more of the like vanilla um, innovations than we would usually. They did. Um, sure, this flower is for you. Oh, she only wants to be friends. Oh, oh dear. Our play date didn't go well, apparently. Hmm, I could attack you now, I think. Yes, and hopefully we'll actually be able to take your castle. Hmm, we could get Paraspan as a general. Yes, lovely. He's got 18 attack um, power, so hopefully he'll do well. Sieging down this castle. No, we just had to get over there. Yes, we're sieging. Look at the bombards go. And our court grandeur is now down to level zero, <laughs> unfortunately. <sighs> um, oh dear, the peasants are revolting. A peasant's lot is indeed to serve their lord. Uh, I think... Oh, yeah, we're going to have to get the Sultan Orhan over to deal with the peasants. Uh, lovely, and he'll do that. Cost me nothing, because it's a defensive war. Let's see done with their war over here against the Chupanids. Oop, they're making their way over to us. Ah, oh, we're losing. Okay. Right, so we're going to get... Um, Sultan Orhan in here again. Come and save me. Hmm, the Gidanese are really tough. <laughs> um, come on, what's happening to the Ottomans? Um, uh, I should probably deal with my peasants myself. Thinking about it. Oh, we've come of age. Lovely. Uh, right, we should probably marry our wife. Brilliant. So now we have a formal alliance with Sultan Orhan. Uh, and pick, because we've been uh, educated in diplomacy, I'm going to go down the Majesty focus. That do brilliantly for later on when we have to integrate our titles into back into the Ilkhanet, rather, I should say. Uh, say. Uh, and also, because we're Muslim, we can now um, marry other people to get uh, better alliances. So I think I'll just marry this uh, Princess of the Golden Horde. Lovely. Hopefully he won't be any, in a war, so he'll come and help us out. Yes, welcome to the fold, Kagan uh, Uzbek. Oh no, the Duchy Clay, no. And we've only got minus seven gold. It pains me, but no, I cannot, my lord. Um, yes, let's call on... And pay, well, a staggering amount of prestige. Just to get him to save our ass. <laughs> Minus 750. It's not that great. Lovely. Right, so the peasants are dealt with. Uh, let's execute him. Lovely. And we'll just have to wait for the Allied armies to get over here. I don't think the Gilanese are doing any, anything as of just now. Um, I know like some people might be disappointed that I stopped my last series when it did. But I think I should have. Because um, there were just so many mods that I was um, missing out on. And um, uh, yeah, I couldn't really do anything at the that point further so yeah i did have to stop with my current uh, mod set but i think i will i do have a better mod set right now so yeah there are also a couple mods that have uh, updated with the new year so um yeah it's a great time to be a ck3 can <laughs> Still sieging down Gillen. Lovely. And there we go. We've won that county. Um, what have we got to do to get money in this game? <laughs> 
Can we usurp the Tupinids? No. No. Um, we should probably change you to religious relations, shouldn't we, Big to? Yeah, because we don't have the money at the minute. Hopefully, with the new year, I'm going to um, finally be able to own my own car again. Because I'm getting lots of money from having worked my arse off over Christmas. Yeah, um, the break also came at a good time for me because I unfortunately got food poisoning. Don't know from where, don't know how. But there you go. Um... Yeah, that was very unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, a pregnancy. Good. Lovely. We need all the um, children we can get. Um, also, what's lucky is being this late in the game, we get uh, primogeniture. Right, we'll straight off the bat. Uh, marital recriminations. Uh, I am surprised to find my wife skulking in my study. By the look on her face, something is clearly uh, upsetting Fatma. My beloved, I must confess to you that Rudaya uh, has gravely insulted me. Yeah, I'm not repeating that name. Um, I cannot bear the thought of being close to that uh, coarse man any further. He will be gone by tomorrow. Lovely. Yeah, I know. Um, mine was sort of long food poisoning, so like the symptoms come kind of dragged out over Christmas. And it was really unfair because... Um, like, at one point, my relatives had, were planned to come, and then they stopped. Um, they were. We had to stop them coming, rather, because, um, yeah, I was just so sick. This wasn't good, man. Oh. You want me to join a war? Lovely. Sure. War against the Russians. For all I care. Just to protect me. Alright. Anyone have a... No, no claims here. Prisoners. Can we ransom you, little girl? No, we can't. Victory. Lovely. Hmm. However, then, um, also because we um, have basically guaranteed succession, conquering all of this as, like, this little duchy here will also be very challenging, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Um, still too soon to uh, change focus, unfortunately. So we'll have to keep going with that. Oh, my daughters. Good. Korjin and Yesui. I wonder if we can, for a future reference. Uh, no, we don't hold. We don't hold any um, Countess of Persian culture. But yeah, the biggest sort of culture group around here is Persian. So I think we're going to try and merge our culture, which is Mongol, with Persian. To hopefully create a new culture. Hmm, new diplomacy perk. Wonderful. We'll go for firm hand. Try and get back some of the masses of prestige we've lost with call calling in the Golden Horde. <laughs> Can't really declare any wars at the minute, so I think I'll speed this up. Um, oh, we have a chance to get rid of our crappy Grand Amala, so I will deal with him, my wife. Lovely. Hmm, let's see, who's the new uh, Grand Amala? Oh, you. You're a bit better, I think. Right, lovely. Cockatoo. Ooh, I didn't see this unlocked um, oxygenarium, is that great? Uh, useful claim, but a uh, faraway province, so no, I don't think we'll go with that. Oh no, Orhan's died, okay, so can we negotiate an alliance? No, we can't. 
I think I'll try and marry one of your sons off to one of my daughters. Yes. Marry um, Cockatoon to Shelby. Wonderful. Sultan Suleiman is now our ally. Um, God, you keep on to me, to wanting me to fire my own um, court members. Enough of these trivialities, Fatma. Um, yep, forgetting him. Uh, invite to invite him leads in the dark, uh, or something like that. You win this time, Rashad. Um, the only frustrating thing is about being this far into the future with CK3 is we can't really um, raid anyone to get uh, prestige like the Mongols usually would. Uh, so yeah, perfect time to um, speed the game up. <laughs> oh, more rebels. Deal with them later. Uh, I think we'll go for benevolent intent. Nice matter for that. Someone's raiding us right now. God damn you. Damn Mongols! They ruined Mongoland! <laughs> um, oh, someone's lost in thought. Lovely. Uh, never a person started to serve their lord. Where are you rising up? Okay. Um, raise all the men. We need all of them. Go off the peasants. There we go. Enforce demand. Execute you. Love it. One less peasant revolt to deal with. <laughs> uh, oh. Someone wants me to join their war. Okay, lovely. Not that we're going to contribute every anything. Chilligan Chilligan has arrived and represented. My lord, we are your loyal subjects. We have no say in how our communities are governed. Um, would it be so much to ask for one of our own people to have a place in your administration? Hmm. Um, I want to give Ardabil to you. Sure. Um, as long as you don't revolt anymore. Sheikh Kaishar. Now you pronounce that. Uh, I'm not doing too well against the Byzantines. Um, yeah, the thing is about Imamism, we can't convert all that soon, because they only allow Hajj pilgrimages, which cost a whole lot of money to get, so uh, yeah, unfortunately about that. We'll just keep going down the diplomacy lifestyles, lifestyle uh, tree, and hope that we get enough prestige to carry on. An empty throne, it's time for me to pay the royal course visit. visit. My lord, I cannot share a bed with Jahan Temur a night longer. He is an insatiable swine, the way he hogs the blanket. Hmm. Um, you know what? These quarters do not befit a... No, no, wait. No, I might not be able to afford that at the minute. Um, I'll ask the servants to find you uh, new bump mates. You know what? There have been some uh, very good mods for CK3 that have recently done updates, by the way. So, um, one is the um, Fallen Eagle, which I think I might plan to uh, campaign in soon. But after I'm done with this campaign, obviously, I think. Once the Eel Carnate is restored to its former glory. Um, twice tax. This is outrageous. Um, Taishi Kualatai made an accounting error. Um, I merely corrected it by collecting the difference, nothing more. Hmm. Uh, Toshi Koilatai has reign over his own domain. Yes, and hopefully that means we get some more money. Can we declare a holy war? We might have enough um, piety to do that now. Uh, mind you, it'll only be a holy war for the county of something. Um... 
So I think I think we could go for uh, the Barony of um, what was it, Bailakan, because that then completes the Tupinid Emirate, and he's only got 146 troops. So yeah. yes, go that little bit more. But Materidi rulers may join the war. Okay, we'll, we'll just go. We'll just have to go for it. First Holy War. Uh, delicate Affairs. Um, hmm. King Georgie might like us. I, thi I think I can handle him, you know. My diplomatic efforts fare three. Wonderful. Oh, we've got enough men to siege now. Wonderful. How does that only... 42 war score. How again? How? Oh, the Ottomans have been defeated for the first time. Oh. Talking of the Ottomans, we're going to have to um, probably call them. Or not, because they won't accept. Really. Right. I'm going to have to marry my other daughter to someone else now. <laughs> uh, sure, we go with an alliance for the Persian Sultanate down here. Yes, come and help us out, please. <laughs> Grand Amir, yes. Lovely. Guess that's down a chunk more prestige. <laughs> um, who's in charge of this army? Um, Padispan, okay, right. Oh dear. He defeated all of our troops. Uh, oh, my son and heir. Right, we have a son, brilliant. Batu, you shall be the new Kagan when I die. Come on, Persians, help us out, please. Where are you? Are you in a war? Um, I suppose you must be if your troops aren't coming. Uh, we can assign someone new to our council. Uh, yeah, let's put Jahan in there. Hmm, they're clearly in a war. And they're quite busy. So I guess I'll ask for a white piece right now. And they'll not accept it. So I guess I'll just surrender before any more damage is done. Um, yeah, uh, oh dear. Oh well. That's what you get for not having enough prestige, I guess. Trappings of majesty. I do not need things to legitimise my rule. No. Right, we'll unlock inspiring rule. Ready? You can see how sort of piecemeal this is compared to like my last campaign. <laughs> we haven't even got to the stage where we've got a duchy yet, or even a kingdom. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it looks like there's some more populists coming around the corner. We shall not stand for your vile oppression of good Azdahari Asharis any longer. Our time is now at hand. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. Ooh, 1266 men. We'll call... Uh, I mean, we'll call the Amir. So our war. Wonderful. Yes, come. Come forth. Um, hopefully this army will be able to deal with the peasants, but you never know. Yes, come and help me out. Yay, wonderful. Right, force demands and execute this guy. Oh, disband. Clawing it back bit by bit. New diplomacy perk, wonderful. Yep, we'll get true ruler, but that, I have found that sort of doesn't really help. Uh, the lure of language. Why bother? Mongol is clearly superior. Yes. And we get another level of um, diplomacy for that. Wonderful. Blood and gold. The, bind, the uh, blind spot. As I grumble over this, I spy the pair's own contributions to the realm. How easy it would be to lose this sum and have each other blame it, uh, it for its disappearance. Uh, innocent whistling. Yeah, we're down gold. We're down gold very badly. Um, oh, Batu is bossy. Wonderful. Ooh, 
Notable guests. I wonder if they have any claims. No, they don't. As a matter of fact. Hmm. Hopefully we should be of faithful um, devotion soon. Patrice can marry. Yep. Right, we've got another alliance. Wonderful. Ah, oh, we're still in debt. Oh, Lord, damn it. Ooh! Additional taxes. Wonderful. <laughs> um, can we declare... No, no, we can't. We're not illustrious. And we can't declare a holy war for it because we're less than faithful. Oof. Ooh, someone's granted me an artifact, you say? It's still quite um, spotty when you compare it to my last campaign, the uh, throne room. But um, hopefully it's enough to just work. Uh, think of Odin's of a Kagan. My lord, I have an artifact of grand illusion which you may convince with um, or you could possess magical power. Um, think of how this will impress the ladies at court. I will not play the puppet master. Good, that gets us some more party. Ooh, we're of bounteous loins, wonderful. That's uh, Tolui doing his thing up in Mongolia. <laughs> oh, more of a faction, wonderful. Not phased by this factionalism. Ooh, another diplomacy for writing history, that would be good. Uh, blood and gold making amends. Uh, we shall see if they. Um, actually fix each other up. Social manipulation. I will ignore him and steal his ideas. Wonderful. Courtier you between friends. I must politely decline because it will get me much more prestige than it's worth to refuse. Uh, another peasant slot. Raise all the armies we have and go after them. Ooh, 25. That's for our vassal there. Brilliant. You make a brilliant general. War stories. Uh, one of Sultan Swilliman's favourite things to do with me is sit to sit by the fire and exchange war stories on a beautiful Persian night. And this night we have been reminiscing from sun until moon until sun again. No one spills a yarn like uh, Swilliman. Indeed. Uh, sure. And we deal with that lot of peasants again. Yes. Good for us. Another call to war, sure. So we're raiding. Oh, another sun. Good, I don't have to disinherit him, actually. So let's get you married off. Um, we could marry into the Jaleirids down here. Get another alliance. That will always be useful. Wonderful. Thank you, Sultan Hassan. Thank you for not killing us immediately. <laughs> Ooh, they're costing a lot. Oh, they've won their war with the Byzantines. One, lovely. And some more diplomacy perks. Life of glory. Good. Uh, coming up to play. I suppose we have both um, moved on, yeah. Because that'll... Give me a mental break. Oh, oh no, our alliance with the Jailer Reeds is gone. Let's see if I can... Um... No, okay, I can't. I can't arrange alliances. Oh, another daughter. Wonderful. Lovely. It's an alliance if ever we needed it. The Mysterious Wooden Chess. A few of my servants were helping my garden the other day and doing some digging on my property when they encountered a most interesting find. A small locked wooden chest, no larger than one's forearm. Um, I'll search for such and find such a lot later. I think this is, um, this is the event side via the Viet events mod, so this is good. Also, another thing that is missing from, uh, Vanilla CK3. How are the Crusaders doing? They're not there anymore. I don't think there's any Catholics in the Holy Land. <laughs> the Dreamscape, the Primordial Universe. 
Um, somewhere deep within myself, though, I cannot articulate it. I know that this is the era of dreams, when people could not distinguish between conscious and subconscious. Uh, when we walk the dreamscape of the universe under the benevolent gaze of God. I know not the beginning nor the end. Hmm, waking up. Outside, the sun is rising. Sure. Oh, a midsummer night's dream. How wonderful. Uh, smuggling ring arrested. Um, oh, lovely. That man's cowardice with the key to our victory. A bit more prestige. We're still going. We we are going still, like, a bit by bit. And Oh. Hmm, Emmy Cook is now very, very weak. Um, yeah, the reason I've been laying off the prestige wars is that if we call in our allies, they'll obviously take a lot of prestige out of it. But we might, we might get it just for the duchy. So, right then, call armies and I suppose one of our allies. Yep, the Mazafarids. Get after them. Night patrol. Ooh, we can get a lantern. I'll be glad to have it. Ten year anniversary. Two of my servants are celebrating the tenth anniversary of their wedding tomorrow. It's hard uh, to believe that they were married over ten years ago and that they now have several children even. Hmm. Um, you know what? Uh, by then... No. Nah. Let them have a week off this holiday. Yet we always need the uh, faithfulness. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully we can win this. Nope, we can't win this battle. Damn it. Oh well, just wait for the Persians to actually mess them up. Yay! Right then, so we claim our first duchy. Um, or not. I suppose we have to wait until the Chupinids are well and truly gone. Ah, uh, Spymaster. Can we put anyone who likes us as our spy master? I guess I'll go for Taishi Gazan, sure. Oh, he likes us immediately. Wonderful. Uh, how soon are we for Dignitas? Not all that soon. Okay, I think we might just have to go through the wealth focus for now. We've got enough prestige, so we should be fine. should probably get some more vassals around. Um, I'll give some lands out to probably my sons. Right, so Gilan and Ardeville can have, yep. I'll have an alliance with you, just so we got more people that we can tax. Wonderful. And another chance of spot. Lovely. Um, is there any Persians around? No, no there aren't. <laughs> Corjin comes of age. Ah, my two girls have. Right, so, the marry their betrothed. Lovely. Fatima's pregnant again. Good for her. Can we declare a warning? No, no we can't. Okay. Ah, now we've gained a um, devotion level. Hopefully. Ah, we can declare war for duchies now. Good, good. So, we'll declare war for the Kasmanid Shardom here. And then call in our allies. Sulaiman will not accept. Okay, it's all in the Persians. And I guess we'll just have to butter up Sulaiman until he does accept. Lovely. They're allied with the Ottomans. Oh dear. Okay, the Ottomans have joined in the war. Um, this is quite possibly the worst thing that could have happened to us. Um, just let the Persians come. Hopefully we'll win a battle while they're sieging down to Briz. Hopefully. Or just go to Sherman. Um, okay, no. But I think we got to surrender. Unfortunately. 
That was uh, leaping before I looked there. <laughs> Someone else. Um, she would never disrespect our marriage. What else would you call having a lot of children? <laughs> uh, she's the modest Kagan Muhammad of the Ilkhanate. I call upon you to honor our alliance and join me in an independence war. Kagan Uzbek. Okay, sure. We'll join you, my lord. Call to war. Allies Kagan Uzbek again. Okay. Well, they're really losing land, the Golden Horde. Um, I'm also sort of conscious that in this start you can find um, Edward III over here with a claim on France. Well, but she's actually sort of winning. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I thought as, as we've already done a campaign in England, we just leave that sort of part of the world be for now. Call to war, sure. Need three wars, dear gods. <laughs> Is there no end to your madness, man? <laughs> Still got a truce for you, and we're in debt. Oh, more taxes, wonderful. Oh, my wives are pregnant again. Great. <laughs> oh, no. All of our babies died prematurely. <laughs> Another stew tip perk. Lovely golden obligations. We'll have that. One payment from our son. Right. That gets us in the gold again. So. Hmm. I think I could probably declare another holy war. Or not. Okay. You're Zaidi. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. Could we declare a war on you, though? We could! Uh, we've got to choose. Hang on. Need to see what's around me. <laughs> so we could go for a holy war against the Borjigin Duchy. I oh, know. We, we probably need some lands that are closer to us in general. So we go after the Shardamur's bus for a time. With its jailed ruler. <laughs> and we'll go for falling in the Ottomans. Lovely. These are the last um, scions of the Ayyubid dynasty then. <coughs> oh, Saladin's descendants have indeed fallen far. Ooh, they're almost uniting Turkey over here. Daughter or Kina, lovely. Um, you know what? You're you're not going to survive this sort of three war, Khan Uzbek. I I apologise, but I don't think I should have claimed I would help. Yeah. Uh, right. So that's second. Go over here. You know, we're going to more Armenian provinces. Yep. See, defeats, defeats everywhere. An empty throne. Ah, oh, we've got to um, pay the royal court a visit. A foul smell. Yeah, just plug the hole in the floor. Munificence of Eskander. Oh, you're. I think I think I can convince you probably to uh, give me some more gold. Oh no, no, I can't apparently. Oh well. Then I'll just hold my fort. Uh, yes, come forth, come forth. We're um subjugating more people, but we'll have a court session indeed. We shall ban weapons within the settlement walls, indeed. Um, oh. Le legendary founders of this land? Nothing compared to me. Uh, oh. Do you want to imprison our queen? Um, malice is not a crime in itself, Sirica. Business here is indeed done. On with the war. Another sun? Lovely. Ew. God, we might not survive this one. Come on, Ottomans. Yay, we did. <laughs> right, okay, so that's another duchy for us. Expand that. Got any other wars going on? Uh, yes, but they're not important for right now. Uh, uh, just need some more money. 
then we can use up some titles finally. Studious Youth, lovely. And uh, oh, we need probably some more vassals around here. So Man Manzikert will give to you probably yeah one of my sons. Give that to you. Uh, here you go, Manzikert, Shaktum of Vassaran, and the Shaktum of Arumia. Lovely. And that will create us another alliance. Marvelous news. Okay, right. The new steward we need. Uh, okay, that's all our nearly all our council slots filled. Minting new coinage. Um, mint the silver coins to facilitate trade. Lovely. Zerp. No, we can't. We can't use Zerp anymore. Not right now. Finally, we've got a bit of a bigger Ilkarnate. Just had to wait for quite a bit. <laughs> You're still allied with the Ottomans. Could declare... No, we can't. No, we can't declare a holy war on them. Not just yet. Uh, the Bagratonis are allied with a lot of people, so it's probably unwise to declare war on them. The Jlerids are... For some reason, we can't declare a holy war on them either. I'm sure Kujichin Kuj wants to meet her peers, so that's lovely. Do that. In demand payments. Titles can be created, finally! Uh, oh, or not. Okay. Still don't have the money. Another defeat for the Golden Horde. <laughs> Looking less like a horde and more like a uh, border gore mess now. Oh, the horror! The new stewardship perk, lovely. Pick it is my domain. Oh, it distorts all my uh, courtiers. I'm gonna go for why should it take a little when I can take a lot? Haha. <laughs> right, so now we can create the Duchy of Azerbaijan. Wonderful. That gets us a little bit more prestige. You're married through one of your relatives, I think. So, probably won't go after you just yet. Uh, I can't declare Holy Wars over there. Ooh, what I could declare is maybe, maybe a Holy War over here. Or not, perhaps. Dab it the fifth. Ooh, no, he'd he'd absolutely wreck us with Dab the fifth. <laughs> oh dear. Um, we can marry off. Ooh, my player heir. We can marry off our player heir. So, um. I think we might go for some of the skills. It's not that uh, bothersome since we can, you know, um, just pick and choose heirs. But uh, yeah, all of these women are quite old. That is unfortunate. So I think we'll go for Zainab here. Yes, good, good. Batu has uh, come of age. Wonderful. Oh, Vase has been declared Imam. Okay, so he's our head of faith. Uh, glory to him and all. Um, okay, so I think... Well, obviously, we can't um, declare a holy war against him. But... Does that mean we could... Um, oh, no. We can grant him a vassal. He'll not accept our uh, vassalage. So, oh, well. Uh, uh, allied to them. So 
someone else. Um, she would never disrupt the uh, sanctity of our marriage. Ooh, sorry. Just spiralled off of the uh, mouse there. <laughs> Let's see. Can we create another Dutch? No, we can't. It is right there. It's very tempting. But no, we, we can't just um, spring one. Ah, you and your exotic arms. County need increased attacks. Hmm. War for the Duchy of Tiberistan. Hmm. Should probably get our um. Uh, Grand Malar uh, fabricating some claims around here. Here, Geld will get that. Uh, Deer of Tapman. D uh, interesting, sure. That could be good for our great hunt later. Oh, the Mulawadi of Persia has died. Hmm. We could do a holy war for a duchy now. Or we could see if we could go on a pilgrimage to the Hajj. No, no, we can't. It's still far too expensive. Right then. I think I could do a political marriage here to someone. Yeah, let Princess Kugujin marry Imam of Ice. Yep, sure. And we'll hopefully get out of this, a Persian duchy to add to our little, um, <laughs> struggling little realm. Ooh. Hmm. I don't think there's much uh, danger of any dangerous Ashari rulers joining in, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll declare a holy war. Call most of our allies, anyway. Raise our armies and start off the war. Uh, fabricate the planes while I'm busy. Another child, make this one wise. Here's have a good time, children. Um, I chose Sadri as my guardian uh, for a woman reason. I mean, for a reason. <laughs> God. Don't disturb me while I'm in the middle of a war, dude. <laughs> oh, oh no, my daughter's been wounded. There's nothing that can be done. Sorry. Okay, so let's go off this car. Uh, where are the Ottomans, though? That's a question. Oh, they're fighting in another war. Just the time. Another daughter. Roadside funeral. Um... And Mami Muller is um, burying someone. Uh, I understand. Carry on, then we shan't bother you. Yes. While we're on our uh, hard, I suppose. Rather. Ooh. Very good. We're chasing them back to um, the depths of Persia. We've got some prisoners that we can ransom already. Keep out of debt. <laughs> uh, the carp, stop wasting my time. I don't want to hear about fish while I'm in a war. Yay, we won. Lovely. That's the Duchy of Hamadan. Okay, I think we've... um. Oh, we can create the Duchy of Hamadan. Lovely. Uh, I think we could probably, probably give a Duchy away to one of our sons. But in a minute... So we just set up Batu as this uh, uh, Emir of Hamadan, yes. Not that good. We get an alliance with him. Wonderful. And we'll probably put him... Um, or not. Uh, we have someone better to... No, no. We, we must put him as champion now. He'll get um, experience. Sure, I'm trying to romance someone. <clears throat> okay, we've 
um, got a little further. We only have um, three counties to get before we can create the Kingdom of Caspi over here. And hopefully we'll start conquering other places as well soon. So, um, thank you for coming on my uh, first live um, YouTube episode. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, but I think I'm going to probably leave it there as uh, Kagam Mohammed II for now. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you all soon, maybe tomorrow, for another sort of concluding episode to this um, uh, bit of the series. Yep, see you all tomorrow.